Hey everyone and welcome to another Nielsen Networking video. What I'm going to show you in this video is Windows updates and then how to troubleshoot Windows updates if they are not being applied or downloaded or whatever. So first things first, some background, some quick background on Windows updates. These are updates that are released after the release of the operating system. So let's say Windows 10, you're on Windows 10, it came out, I don't know, five, six years ago. and um, at the time of release, they didn't think they had any vulnerabilities. Well, over the years, they found out they did. They may even have been exploited, so they've released updates that fix these vulnerabilities. And that's what Windows updates are. As long as your system is configured correctly, it should download these updates automatically and apply them without you having to do anything if it's configured correctly. And that's what we're going to show you right now. So first things first, how to get into Windows updates. You're going to hit the Start menu right here, or you're going to type it in next to the magnifying glass and search field and you're just going to search for updates and you could click here to do it that way but I want to show you one other way just in case updates isn't popping up and you can type in settings and then go to update and security so you can go in two ways first things first on this section now I actually have updates ready to be installed pending a restart this is a cumulative update I meaning it's probably fairly large and this one is probably um, tied to this one as a requirement this this cumulative update must be installed before this one can probably be installed and downloaded so it wants me to reboot to do that i'm not going to um, but that if you see that that's what that means and that's totally normal uh, down here it gives you the option to uh, pause updates for up to seven days i believe you can actually pause it for much longer than that if you click on it i'm not going to go ahead and do that because um, there's really no need to pause these updates unless um, you're worried that there could be a software conflict if you actually um updated something or if it was trying to force Windows 11 on you or something god forbid like that um, change active hours if you wanted to change your active hours meaning the hours it's not going to try to force you to, to um, download and re, re, re -boot, uh, install and reboot um, view update history this is kind of nice if you ever if you did download an update and you had a conflict you can go in here go to uninstall updates find one let's just say actually that one won't let me Let's say this one um, I downloaded and it was causing conflict. I could come in here and uninstall it. I've rarely had to do that, so you probably won't either, but just in case you ever do. And then um, advanced options. I would, uh, I would suggest enabling this option if you have any other Windows programs because what this does is it actually tells um, the update server to download updates for Office or Visio or whatever you have, um, and it does it. And then the other ones you can kind of just leave the default. So that is how you do it. You're going to want to set it. Um, and then come in here from time to time and verify that they're actually getting updated. Now, if you come in here and there's, you know, and uh, like this is this is um, this exclamation point is because I need to reboot. But if you come in here and there's one and it says could not install updates because of this or that or the other thing. Um, I now want to show you some solutions to those problems. So first thing that I see um, is that there are actually Windows updates is actually disabled. So to check that, you can go in here and go under services, open up services, scroll down to Windows updates, and you can see mine's enabled, but I see sometimes that it's actually disabled. And when this is disabled, there's nothing you can do. The updates, they will tell you there's updates and it will just stay on 0%. So that's the first thing I would check. I would also check to verify that your firewall is actually enabled um, because sometimes, believe it or not, having the firewall in a, um, disabled, I know you, you think it would be the opposite, disabling the firewall can actually cause the updates not to work. So try enabling the firewall. Um, third thing is check your disk space. So open up File Explorer, go to OneDrive, or not OneDrive, this PC, and right click on local disk, and it will show you. So it doesn't look like I have a lot here, but this is just a, a virtual machine for this video. So it's actually, it's good. It's like 10%. So, so we're good. And I don't plan on downloading much and we're not getting a, an error on that anyway. So the um, next thing to do would actually be to go in and see if maybe there were some corrupted download installers. And to do that, we need to go to an elevated command prompt. So we're gonna type in CMD, we're gonna right click, we're gonna go uh, run as admin. Hit yes on that, and if I can get that window out of the way, we're going to type in some commands there. We're going to do net stop bits. Okay, so that one's not running. We're going to do net stop w a. Oh, hold 
I think I spelled this wrong. Um, is it this one? Okay, never mind. I did it okay. And then we're going to need to do, you're going to do four of these. Nat, stop, A-P-P-I-D-S-V-C. That's not running. Finally, we're going to do net stop, C-R-Y-P-T-S-V-C. And we're going to stop that. And then we're going to go here. We're going to go here. We're going to go C drive, um, Windows. And then we're looking for this folder right here. And what we want to do is we want to rename it. We're just going to put a dot old at the end of it. It's going to tell me, yes, do you want to do that? We did that. And then we're looking for one in system 32. So you're going to go in here. And we're looking for cat root 2. And right, you're not cooperating. Rename. And if this one gives you trouble, because sometimes it will, you can just go back in. I guess it's telling me it's still it's still open here. So give me a second. We're gonna go in here, and we're. Oops, that's not the one I wanted to do. We want to do. We're gonna do that again, and we're gonna try again, and that lets you. So remember, you're going to do the crypt service um, if, the, if it, that does not like you. So then what we're going to need to do is reboot, or not reboot, sorry, restart the Windows services. And you could come in here and do it, but we know it will, since we already have the commands, it's, we're just going to go like this. We're going to go here, and you're going to just up arrow, take it to the first one, and just change it. And then you're going to go to the next one and just change it to start. And change this one to start. This one sometimes already starts on its own, but we'll do it anyway. Yeah, I don't know why it does that, but it does. It doesn't like to be turned off. Um, okay, so then what you would do is you would then go to Windows Update, which I think we still have open. And unfortunately, I, I can't show you exactly how it's look, it looks because my machine's actually working. But you would then come in here and you would have to say, check for updates. It would then start the process over and it would hopefully download clean updates without any corruption and you would be able to run the install. So I know that's a lot. Um, I'll put a, I'll, I'll put a um, chapter marker in here and name that section just so you can see. And I'll actually throw the four um, net stop commands and net start commands and then I'll throw the um, directory location in the dis uh, description as well. So what do you do if that doesn't work? Well, that's a good question. You would go back to your um, command prompt here. I'm going to clear. Oops. Sorry, I thought I was in Linux for a minute here. And what we're going to do is, well, I'm not going to actually do it, but the, the command you would want to run is FFC, and some of you probably have done this before, scan now. And you'd want to hit enter. And this is the system file checker. And the problem is it will, it will check for um, corrupted file systems and other issues, but it can take a long time. So I'm not going to do it right now, but that would be the next step after you've renamed the um, cat root two in the software distri distribution folders. Um, that's what you would want to do. So let's say that doesn't work. You can then try running a command. Let's get this over here. And I've only done this one once and this took even longer than the FSC scan now command, but this is a DISM command, exe. And you're going to put a slash online, slash clean up, dash image. Actually, I think this has to be lowercase. And this is not a question mark. This is a slash image. And then scan health. And I'm not sure if this is case sensitive or not. Um, but when I was researching it, when I had this exact problem, 
it, it didn't tell me, but it, it, it was um, written as case sensitive. So that's how I did it. I ran this and this took me literally like six hours to run. And then at the end, it did solve the problem um, after I had gone through those other two steps. So it is something worth worth trying if you have to, but just know it, this isn't going to be a, a quick fix. Uh, most of the time, honestly, it will either be Windows updates disabled or it will be the uh, software distribution folder needs to be cleared out. Um, or, of course, you run out of space, um, which kind of is because the software distribution, if that gets corrupted, it will continue to download those fall, um, downloads and then eventually you run out of space. So they kind of all playing together in a way. Last thing I would um, recommend you try if this isn't working, let me get out of here would be to disable any antivirus or anti-malware you have on there because that could, of course, be blocking your downloads. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions or anything, um, you know, I, I'm here to help. Throw them in the comments. Um, but if, if you go through all that and it's not working, um, your best bet would probably be to do either a clean install or restore from a Windows 10 backup if you had, like, an image. Um, that would probably be your best bet at this point. Um, so again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it knowledgeable, um, I would greatly appreciate a like. Um, again, we're a new channel trying to grow here, so every little bit of love is greatly appreciated. Um, also subscribe. We're going to try to bust. The goal is one a day, but to be honest, that's a little hard. We're going to try to at least do one every other day, um, but we're going to keep with, with the, the goal of one a day for now. So anyway, I, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great one. Talk to you later. Bye.